In this video, we will go over the main WP's quick setup wizard. The wizard will start automatically the first time the main WP dashboard plugin is installed and activated. It can also be started manually from the tools page of the dashboard. This is the first page of the wizard. From here, you can click the green button to proceed with the wizard, or you can skip the wizard and go straight to the main WP dashboard. Since this wizard covers main WP basics, we recommend it for all main WP beginners. We will click the green button to proceed with the wizard. Here you can click the walkthrough button for the written documentation, where you will also find this video embedded. If you are a new user, leave the guided tours enabled. They are designed to provide information about all essential features on each main WP dashboard page. We will disable them for the purposes of this video. From this page, you can also go back to WP Admin or skip the wizard and jump to main WP dashboard. Let's proceed and click the Let's Go button. The wizard will check for system requirements and alert you if important criteria are not met. Most servers will have no issues meeting them. If your server doesn't meet some of them, please refer to the help article linked below. Let's click Continue to proceed. On the Connect page, you can connect a single site or multiple sites. Multiple sites can be added in two different ways, by entering the site information in the table or by uploading the CSV file. We have separate videos that go into the details of all of these methods. For the purpose of showing off the wizard, we will quickly add one child site. We'll fill in the child site URL and administrator username. The administrator password requirement is enabled by default in the main WP child plugin, so we will leave that on while the unique security ID is off by default, so we will disable it here. We will paste in the administrator password. It's important to note that your password is never stored by your dashboard and never sent to mainwp.com. It is used only to establish the initial connection. After that, your mainwp dashboard generates a secure public and private key pair, allowing future connections without needing your password again. For added security, you can even change this admin password once connected. Just be sure not to delete the admin account, as this would disrupt the connection. Click to confirm that the main WP child plugin is activated on the site we're connecting, and finally click the connect site. After the site is successfully added, the wizard will automatically proceed to the next step. On this page, you can optionally create your first client. Clients is a basic CRM that allows you to attach your client information to their sites. Only the client name is required, but we will also add an email which will be necessary if you plan on sending reports to this client, and a phone number. The child site that we added to the dashboard in the previous step of this wizard will be automatically associated with this client. This automatic association is specific to the quick setup wizard. If you have imported multiple sites during the previous step, you can create multiple clients on this tab. Since we added only one site, let's click Continue. The next page is Monitoring. If you wish for your dashboard to alert you if one of your child sites is down, toggle on Uptime Monitoring and then select a desired check interval. This feature operates independently of third-party services, providing a straightforward and no-cost option for uptime monitoring across all your managed sites. Dashboard can also check for your child site's health. Site health is a core part of WordPress, and if this toggle is enabled, your dashboard will alert you if the chosen health threshold is not met. We are at the final page of the Quick Setup Wizard. Click Start Managing Your Sites to proceed to the dashboard. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe for more updates from MainWP. Don't forget to check out one of our other videos next.